What up, family? Big Church, Kenny Bogus. Taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure at Kenny's Kitchen with your boy, Young Kitchen. That will be me, this cat. And uh, first off, if you're new to the kitchen, welcome to Kenny's Kitchen, where it's all about flavor and this making the woods, all right? That being said, like, share, subscribe. Also, ring the bell for the notifications. We appreciate the love. All right, so what I want to hit y'all with this week, sandwich edition, deliciousness, though. And uh, with no further ado, I ain't going to hold you what it is. It's a chicken, Philly, cheesesteak. Deluxe, though. And I'm going to show you what I mean by deluxe, all right? So, you know what? You about to see it, because we about to do it right here, right now. Kitty's going to taste this. The church. Come on. Show you how it's done. Okay, family, so what we have here is about a pound and a half, two pounds of uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You can definitely use chicken breast, but I find chicken thighs to be more juicier uh, of a cut, so that's what we did. And uh, with no further ado, what we're gonna do is I uh, just put them on a plate or a bowl, and we're gonna season them with some, uh, I'm gonna use some all-purpose seasoning. Uh, all you're gonna need is some, some salt, pepper, a little garlic powder. And I'm using uh, one of my favorites, Kinder's The Blend. On here, I think it should do well for this particular uh, recipe. We're gonna just hit it like this on both sides. And uh, with no further ado, meet me at a cast iron skillet because we're gonna get these boys going with the quickness. All right, let's go. Okay, family, as you can see, I got uh, my favorite cast iron skillet on a blaze. See a little smoke coming off of it. I put about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil in it and we got it on a medium high heat. And I think it's about ready. So we're gonna start to drop these puppies. I'm gonna do them a uh, skin side where they get all skin. But I'm gonna, um, the smooth side down. And we're gonna cook these puppies for about five to seven minutes per side. Let's see if I can fit them all in here. Looks like we might got a good shot. You don't wanna overcrowd the pan, of course. Should do it. That should do it. I had a couple miscellaneous little chunks that I just drop in there. All right. See, like I said, we're gonna let them go for about five to seven minutes. Then flip them and check them because you don't want them to be burnt or brown. But on a medium high heat, should do the trick to get them done. Okay, family. This is how we looking on the flip side of town. Golden brown. We're gonna let these puppies go for another six, seven minutes until they're done, and then we're gonna take them out, remove them, let them sit on the plate and just cool off slightly. Then we're gonna chop them up and uh, meet you back at the skillet for the next step, all right? Okay, family, we took the chicken out. I just brought the heat down to a medium from that medium high, added another tablespoon of oil, and we, we still got the leftover chicken bits in there, and with no further ado, I got some onions. I took an onion, chopped it up, and uh, a couple peppers. Some, I got some red and some yellow. You got some green, that's cool too. We're gonna drop it all in there like that there, okay? And we're gonna uh, let these saute for about two to three minutes. And in the meantime, that chicken, we're gonna chop it up into little bite-sized bits. And we're gonna add that once we let these saute for a couple minutes, all right? Okay, family, it's been about three minutes. We got those veggies sauteing, looking real good. Now we're gonna, we chop that chicken up. I'm gonna add that to the, to the weak side. And then we're gonna mix everybody up. Like so. Shoot, we damn they can go to the plate and from there, right? That almost look like shoot a meal right there, but not quite. So next step, preheat your oven to 250 degrees and get you some buns. Some nice little hoagie buns. And we're gonna get to the to the making of these sandwiches and build these sandwiches. Oh yeah, before we do that, you can't turn the heat off. Let's turn the heat off. We don't want to overcook this thing. This, this part is done, all right? Let's get let's build. Actually, you know what? After further review of the play, I got one more ingredient I want to add, and it's some queso. Got, take you about a half a cup of queso, and I got just a uh, Tostitos medium queso. Delicious, cheat code. We're gonna put about a half a cup in this mix before we turn off the heat. Like so. Now we're gonna get us a mix. You see that? You know what I'm gonna say, y'all, like so. All right, now let's build. All right, family, I uh, took a couple hoagie rolls and you, this is optional, you don't have to toast them, but I like to put a little light toast on that thing. It just makes for a better sandwich and a little crunch uh, for the kids. So we're gonna fill these with our Philly, chicken Philly mixture. 
like so. Now you wanna shred you up some fresh mozzarella or whatever cheese you wanna do. I'm using mozzarella though. And I get the block and I like to shred it up fresh for the best results. Fresh is always best, y'all. Don't have all those extra ingredients that you don't want in your body. But if you ain't got time, you can get the bag or whatever. But I definitely recommend the fresh. We gonna put it on there. It's that homemade little touch on there, you know what I'm saying? Mama used to do it. All right. All right, that look about right? All right, cool. Now we gonna put it in the oven just for a couple minutes just to melt this cheese. Show you how it's looking on the pullout. All right, y'all, that's how we looking on the pullout. Cheese melted to a perfection. And I say 250, cause you, you know, you wanna melt the cheese without letting the bread get all hard and stuff, right? So uh, that being said, you know this is uh, another taste disapproved dish right here. And uh, that being said, meet me at the plate and let's go, church. So there you have it, people. There you have it. Kenny's Kitchen Style, the Chicken Philly Deluxe. I'm gonna call it the Deluxe, people. And uh, let's go ahead and zoom on in. Give y'all a closer look. I ain't gonna do y'all like that. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, look at that. Let it hold it there for a second. Let's zoom on out. And as we zoom out, gotta say gratitude. We appreciate y'all for tapping in with us. Keep on doing what you're doing. Tell your peoples and your people's peoples what we're doing here if this your kind of thing. That being said, we're gonna catch y'all next week with another banger. Y'all take care of each other. We hope we took care of y'all. Catch you next time, church. All right, people, there you have it. There you have it, family. The Chicken Philly told you it's gonna be something crazy. Some delicious, but this is the part of the show I gotta step back. Salute y'all, cause we appreciate y'all for tapping in. Keep on doing what you're doing. I think I already said, tell your peoples and your people's peoples. So uh, with no further ado, let me uh, spin this thing all up in your face like this here. I just took one of them off. I ain't wanna have that big old super plate, but uh, we gotta taste this. Let me see. Let me turn this around here and uh, see what this thing do. This beautiful soft bread, I told you. Perfect combination. Let's try to take a chunk out this thing. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, I ain't gonna be greedy, but this right here, mm -mm -mm. you got to do it. This is the epitome of delicious. Catch y'all next week. We out.